Well, hello and welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. Of course, it is the 15th of December 2023. I'm your guide to everything crypto, Nikkei Arashini. Let's jump straight into the headlines. Coming up, Solana phones fly off shelves as enthusiasts chase bonk frenzy. Shifting gears, Bitcoin's new twist. First trust seeks SEC approval, buffer ETF. More interestingly, Ripple drops CBDCY paper, doubles down on potential. Finally, Brazil seals the deal on international crypto tax law, taxing crypto globally. Upcoming events and more to come. But quickly on the market rates today, Bitcoin is at $42,000, Ethereum is at $2,000, BNB is at $249, Solana is at $78 and dollars an hour rates are still above a thousand naira to a dollar. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. Kicking things off, in recent days, Solana's crypto phone has become a hot commodity among enthusiasts chasing the soaring value of the Solana meme coin, Bunk. Now with Bunk surging over 1,100% in the last month, Owners of Solana Phone, launched on May 8th, received a 30 million bunk airdrop, creating an unexpected opportunity for profit as the token's value rose sharply. Solana's co-founder Raj Gokul noted a remarkable surge in Solana Phone sales, projecting a potential sellout before the year's end. Now, the current value of the 30 million bunk airdrop at $877 significantly exceeds the phone's $599 price, presenting an unusual arbitrage prospect for crypto enthusiasts. Now, CoinGecko reports Bunk's staggering 1,100% gain in the last month, surpassing the market cap of rival meme coin Pepe. Meme coins, known for volatility, seldom showcase such rapid growth if you ask me. Now, the strong sales prompted Solana's co-founder, Anatoly Yakovenko, to propose increasing the Saga phone's price previously reduced from $999 to $599. Now, Solana confirmed sales worth millions of dollars within 48 hours, celebrating the Saga as the phone that pays for itself in the Solana community's projects. Up next, in financial news, First Trust, a financial services firm, has filed for a unique Bitcoin exchange-traded fund ETF with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. Now, unlike a traditional spot Bitcoin ETF, this new product, named the First Trust Bitcoin Buffer ETF, uses options to pursue specific investment goals. Now, this ETF aims to mirror positive price returns of the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust or similar products that track Bitcoin's performance. Now, unlike spot ETFs, buffer ETFs, also known as defined outcome ETFs, aim to shield investors from losses during market declines by setting a limit on potential growth within a specific period. Bloomberg ETF analyst James Sheffert highlighted the ETF's ability to protect against a set percentage of downside losses while capping potential gains. Now, Seyford suggested that likelihood of other unique strategies offering Bitcoin exposure in the near future. In other news, Ripple has just intensified its backing for central bank digital currency CBDCs through a freshly unveiled 23-page white paper. Released on the 14th of December, the document delves into CBDC fundamentals, their benefits, associated risks, and hurdles inhibiting widespread acceptance. Now, according to Ripple, CBDCs facilitate financial inclusion, streamline global payments, and fortify control over monetary policies. Now, the white paper underscores the necessity of CBDCs in supporting the substantial positive impacts of asset tokenization, positioning it as a pivotal mechanism for converting real assets into digital tokens on the blockchain. Yet, Ripple outlines several impediments to CBDC adoption, 
citing the absence of a consistent global regulatory structure as a primary concern. Additional factors encompass limited and user uptake, insufficient consumer education, apprehensions about privacy and security, digital identity verification, lack of interoperability among CBDCs, and accessibility to offline transactions. Now, despite these challenges, the authors of the white paper remain optimistic, asserting that these issues are not insurmountable. Now, closing in on today's news roundup, we've got some more crypto shifts on the horizon, as Brazil's president, Luis Inácio Lula da Silva, just inked a groundbreaking law targeting crypto assets held abroad by Brazilian citizens. Now set to kick in on the 1st of January 2024, that's next year, this law isn't just about crypto. It casts a wide net covering profits and dividends from various international investments. Now the Brazilian government is eyeing $4 billion in new taxes for 2024. But here's a twist. Those diving into early tax payments this year get an 8% levy deal on all income until 2023, payable in installments starting this December. But then come 2024, it's a firm 15% rate. However, there's a touch of uncertainty in the air as João Carlos Almada of Transfero, a Brazilian stablecoin issuer, chimes in, highlighting the need for clarity in aspects of the law, especially regarding compensations for losses. Now, will Brazil's evolving regulations address these concerns, paving way for market transparency and credibility? Stay tuned as the dialogue unfolds. Now that wraps up this week's cryptocurrency news on Crypto TV Plus. If you're hungry for more juicy market updates and the latest buzz in the blockchain and cryptocurrency space, head over to our website at cryptotvplus.com. But catch us on our social media as well as we're on Facebook and X at Crypto TV Plus on Instagram as well at Official Crypto TV Plus. Now don't miss out on our daily scoop by subscribing to our YouTube channel as well. Now hit that notification bell so you're always in the loop. And hey, got burning questions about any of our news or any of our stories? You can drop them in the comment section below and let's get the conversation started. Big thanks for tuning in. I'm once again, Nikki Oshini, and until next time, stay crypto savvy.